Well, hello again, everyone. It's been a little while since the last time we got together like this, but a number of things have been happening, and I just want to bring you up to speed on some of those. The most notable, of course, was our 142nd uh, annual international convention, which took place from December 31st, New Year's Eve, right up to uh, January 5th in Adyar, our international headquarters. Uh, this year, as in every year, uh, it tends to be the largest theosophical event uh, during the course of a year uh, anywhere in the world. And so this year wasn't an exception with about a thousand people in attendance. Our actual registration number was 962. So that was the people who registered and of course more beyond that actually attended. So as many of you take advantage of the live streaming that has been going on for the last few years, uh, you have a sense of at least the talks and the layout, particularly in the Adyar Theater. But the convention is much more than that. Uh, it's a time when people get together from all around the world, from all across India, to actually share and to just do more than just listen to the talks. Uh, new friendships are formed every single year, old friendships are renewed, and ideas about this common work are shared. So I'll get a chance to show you a little bit about that. It's a wonderful thing, and it's really quite a joyous occasion, a lot of fun too. So that happened this year. This year we also had the very special event that the newly appointed governor of the state of Tamil Nadu attended our, uh, attended our convention and spoke. I had invited him uh, about two or three months previous, got a chance to go out to the governor's palace and have a chat with him about coming to, coming to speak to, at our event, and he accepted quite gladly. So it was something that he had a chance to talk about, the TS and its work in India, which has been critical to the Indian nation. So that was very good. Otherwise, the talks, which many of you saw, were brilliant, uh, very, very good. So you get a chance to look in and see some of the behind-the-scenes things that also occur at this big event. After that, I had a chance to travel to New Zealand for their annual national convention. I uh, was there for a couple of weeks in Auckland, Palmerston, and Hamilton, uh, meeting with different members there. It's a beautiful section, beautiful part of the world, really, uh, quite remarkable. Farther away from any major city than any other place on the world, but uh, still quite beautiful. And the society there is uh, quite well run and forward looking. So get to meet some of the people there and see how they do it. Uh, also, I want to remind you about the upcoming World Congress that's going to be August 4th through the 8th of this year in Singapore. Uh, the people in Singapore have been busy making preparations for us to come. It promises to be a wonderful event. So go online, register, and let them know in advance that you'll be attending, because there are a lot of things that need to be uh, determined well in advance. So with that, take a look, and I hope you enjoy. This year, as every year, the preparation for the 142nd convention uh, begins quite early. Uh, probably it's hard for people who are not involved directly to know how much work actually goes into preparing the grounds, to getting the theater ready, uh, and particularly in Adyar. Our bullocks are pulling flowers and moving things throughout the time that we're preparing. The theater itself goes from an open-air theater to a beautifully enclosed theater with uh, very, very well decorated. And we set up seats for about a thousand people who attend the convention every year. For the last three years, the convention has been beginning on New Year's Eve. So the opening takes place where all of the delegates, all the representatives from the different countries, the general secretaries take the stage. We light the ceremonial candle. And then we have the opening of the prayers. This year, as last year, the children from our Alcott School began the prayers. And with that, the occasion is formally opened. 
of this year as in the past year. We have buses for our delegates to the campus is quite large and so walking to and from the many programs of the day sometimes takes its toll. It's great exercise, but uh, we gave an option. The reception is always a very special time. This year the decorations were handled again by Lily, my wife, and a team of people. The food was prepared by the Bangalore group who did the Indian kitchen for the entire convention. And the Olcott children came and sang us some songs, as well as the little kids from the Social Welfare Center. Always beautiful to hear their little voices. Uh, so it's a time when people get together, lovely social time. Oftentimes it's people who have been coming to these conventions for 30, 40 years. Oftentimes it's people meeting for the first time, and then it's people who are meeting for the first time since last year. Always a special time together. So the first lecture immediately following the reception was the Theosophy Science Lecture delivered by Professor Gangadhar on Yoga and Social Cognition. Because it falls on the New Year's Eve, we always get together and have a, some time for enjoyment in the evening. So this year, just like last year, groups gathered at the uh, Leadbeater Chambers LBC Dining Hall, and it was a rousing sing-off that took place. All of the people there from all of the different countries contributed some song. One of the special occasions that we had was the uh, attendance of the governor, the newly appointed governor of the state of Tamil Nadu, uh, His Excellency, the Governor Pirohit. Uh, he came and delivered a really lovely speech to about the importance of the TS and the work of the Theosophical Society in India. Professor Lokesh Chandra gave the Besant Lecture, absolutely brilliant man, and then we had other luminaries who were there to speak with us as well. Padma Venkaratan, head of the Women's India Association, Dorothy Bell, Pradeep Gohil, the General Secretary from India, Dr. Revati, who is a resident at Dajar, and we had a panel in which we described the renovation efforts going on at Dajar. After all of the sessions, the various different language groups within India would get together and someone would translate and they would discuss what had transpired during the, the talks. There were also other things, the Social Welfare Center this year's special guest was Patricia Calvi from Italy. Um, she did the inauguration. It's always a wonderful affair with this dancing and celebration. The Vocational Training Center hosted its inauguration and had a chance to show off some of the work it had been doing. My wife Lily had been very active in uh, working with this uh, vocational training center over the year. We also had uh, musical events, wonderful dance performance. We also had our own Bangalore cousins who took the stage to entertain us one evening. It was also a time to say farewell to the Krishnamurti School, who has been in our Damodar Gardens campus for the last 40 years. It was a wonderful performance delivered by the Krishnamurti School children. Total attendance registered was 962, although the actual attendance was higher than that. At the closing, as always, we have three people who have come for the first time to give their impressions. And we also hear from our convention officer, Jai Kumar Khanna, the general manager at TS. And then it's time to say farewell. From Adyar, it was on to New Zealand for their annual convention, which was held in Palmerston North on the North Island of New Zealand. I got a chance to sit in on their annual general meeting with all of the representatives that were there. It's a wonderful event. The Palmerston group hosted it quite brilliantly. Uh, there were the usual sorts of talks, there were some 
some special entertainment, opening gifts, greetings from all of the various different lodges. Uh, New Zealand is very well organized section, uh, active section, doing a lot of different things and also always trying to look ahead. Dorothy Bell from Australia was one of the featured speakers there. Also got a chance to visit with Richard Sell and of course John Borstman on the right who is the uh, general secretary for the section. It's a good event. Uh, got a chance to address them some three or four times. Um, talk to them about Adyar as well. During the convention, Renee Sell conducted the TOS program and had a chance to invite uh, my wife Lily to talk about some of the work that had been done with the Vocational Training Center, which is something that has really come to life over the last year. You get a chance to see the oldest person there, a 90-year-old yoga instructor. Closing took place at the Palmerston North Lodges branch headquarters, a lovely building which they have refurbished off. Many of the people who were at the convention got a chance to gather. It was a night of thanks, of music. Flowers were given to some of the important people. Actually, the same bouquet was given about five or six times until it finally was taken home by our featured performer, violinist, who does not just classical music, but also Zealand. I got a chance to visit at a couple of places. Hamilton, um, Hamilton, New Zealand, which is about two hours outside of the national headquarters. Uh, this gentleman did an interview, about an hour-long interview on the radio. Back in Auckland at the Basanta House, the headquarters for the New, New Zealand section, got actually a little bit of downtime, and then it was time to have the last thing that we did, which was an open house that was held at the Auckland Lodge. HPB Lodge. Beautiful, beautiful building uh, that was constructed specifically for the purpose. The event at HPB Lodge was relaxed and quite social. Got a chance to visit with many people, not least of which was old friends of uh, Michelle and Diana Chapeltan. Diana and Michelle live in France and they had, uh, they were happened to be in New Zealand for her home, her birthplace, during the time I was there. Raffles were held, actually I won a big prize of uh, skin products, so that was very nice. And then our tour to New Zealand came to an end. So it was farewell to our many friends and to the wonderful work that was done during our time there. And finally, just a reminder about our 11th World Congress that will be held in Singapore this year from August 4th to August 8th. Singapore is a beautiful city. It's the first World Congress that has been held by the Theosophical Society in Asia, and we couldn't have a more special place or a more special group of people preparing for us to come. Please go online and register, and we'll look to see you there.